Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Path of Evil Remastered. All right, we're now in the town of Pros, and as you can see, we now have a dialogue coming on because some of these street urchins all of a sudden showed up, and it looks like they uh, might have been trying to do a pickpocket on me. This small child runs clumsily into you. All right, we got a spot check here. Let's go with 10 on that one. Hey, you just stole something from me. The child turns to flee. So we have a reflex option, intimidate, and diplomacy. Let's go reflex. Try to grab the child. Success. You have the child by the arm. Start twisting. <laughs> Let me go or I'll scream. Kill the kid. I don't think so. Give me back my money and I won't hurt you. All right, looks like, yeah, he only grabbed two coins from us. Fine. I only took two lousy coins. The child runs away. All right, well, yeah, I guess we're probably going to see a lot of that while we're here in pros. <laughs> Anyways, we are currently here at the entrance. There's a bunch of shopkeepers around here, so let's continue checking these guys out. Uh, let's see, there was Look the Boyer. You look like a Gadooja new bow. I want to ask you something. Yeah, what? Who's that statue of on the horse in the park? Don't know. Probably one of the colonists who built the city. Folks around here just call him Horse Guy. He laughs at a private joke. <laughs> I think the park was originally named after him, but it's been Castle Bridge Park for as long as I can remember. Huh. Oh, you must be talking about that statue right there, huh? Alright, let's see. What else did he have? Show me what you have. He's got some missile weapons here. Some plus one bows. That's about it, though. How much will he pay? 100 coins for a necklace now. All right, let's keep going. All right, what is this place? The Rapier and Cutlass. Sounds like another merchant over there. Nobody's here. Well, let's go check it out while we're here. Map note added. Yep, the rapier and cutlass. Is there anything else back here? No. Alright, let's check this place out. Okay, this is apparently a tavern, huh? This inn is busy as befits its location near the city gates. Alright, we got a bunch of commoners here. A stairway going up. We got a kitty cat. And a door back here. Another commoner over here. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to the bartender. See if she knows anything. Welcome to the Rapier and Cutlass. I'd like to see what's on tap. She's selling a Luck Stone as well. Hmm. 99 coins for a healer's kit. Yeah, we can get them cheaper outside. All right. Just for the hell of it, close. let's check some of these commoners step, and see if they know anything. Step. Doesn't look like they do. Alright, let's go snooping around through some of their doors then. Cat say anything? Wow. Alright, and the cook. Alright, nothing of importance in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something we can heist upstairs. Let's go this way. Oh, there's somebody here. A noble. It is madness for sheep to talk peace with a wolf. <laughs> Alright, well, we have some containers in here we can get into. That's all junk. Let's see what's over here across the hallway. Is this the same guy we just talked to? Two more doors over here. All right, who's this? A shady character. Let's talk to this guy. I don't think you can help me. Huh. We must have to come back to him later for something. Uh, let's see. No, nothing spectacular about looking at him. Alright, and here's another noble with a big-ass staff in his hand. He doesn't know anything. 
this is the same guy we talked to, I believe. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else up here. I'm guessing we gotta talk to that guy later on for something. Let's get out of here. Alright, where should we go next? More commoners. Let's go take a look around the statue, see if there's anybody important over here. A street urchin. A dirty child pushes past you and runs away into the crowd. Huh! How much money did we just lose there, huh? Huh! <laughs> Alright, speaking of money, how are we set yet? We have over 103,000. Alright, where is this? That was the castle, right? Prost Castle. Let's see if these guys say anything. Cotton the guard. What is it? Nothing. Don't make trouble. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can actually get inside here. Oh, maybe we can. <laughs> Damn. I thought that was a door or something there. I guess it's not, huh? Alright, here's some more guards. Alright, well, I guess we're going to look inside here. Prost Castle. Nonadla the Sage. The court of Prost Castle before you is Duke Amandar, ruler of Prost. All right, let's go see if he's got something for us. Aranam. Another time. Yes. Greetings. And who's this? The court wizard. Greetings. Perhaps you should talk with Aranam. He normally handles the concerns of adventurers. Yeah, we just did talk to him. He's got nothing to say to us. Let's talk to the duke. Well met. I don't believe you have business with me. Yes, sir. Alright, let's see if there's something back here. This door is locked. Let's see if we can't do a little skullduddry. A key is required. Okay. I guess we're not getting in there. Alright, there is some scrolls and things on these tables too. Let's talk to the sage. But with pretty blue swirly things to amuse me in the meantime. <laughs> Alright, what is the scroll pile? A pile of scrolls and... Nanadla's tables. Most of them are court documents, but there might be something you could use in the jumble. Alright, we got a sleight of hand option here. Let's go to Alira. Try rummaging through while Nanadlia is distracted. Success, you found a useful scroll. Alright, we got minor globe of invulnerability. Alright, leave that alone. Alright, there's another scroll back here. Alright, same thing. Uh, let's see, we got a Lyra already. Let's go for a sleight of hand. Success. And this one is unknown. Leave the rest alone. Alright, I don't see any other scrolls. Alright, let's see what we got. Displacement and Minor Globe. Let's pass them both off to Carceron. Hmm. What? Right, yeah, let's rearm too. I'm ready if you need me. All right, minor globe. Yeah, we can scribe that one. And let's see, displacement. Let's see if we can scribe that. Oh, that's a school of opposition. Let's just hold on to those. All right. Well, maybe we got to come back to these guys later. Let's get out of here. All right, nothing else we can do in there. All right, let's take a look at the map. I guess we could go down this way. What is this, the Crafter's Guild? Izzy's Arcane Supplies. And that was Rapier and Cutlass. Yeah, let's come down here, check all this stuff out, and I guess we can work our way back over that way then. 
So let's go back to Annandale. Looks like we're going down that way to the south. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else over here, is there? Just a bunch of commoners. There's a beggar. Let's talk to him just to see if he's got anything. <laughs> the Duke's daughter, Iristiana, loves the theater. Oh, here's some named characters over here. Alright, that was Rapier and Cutlass. Let's talk to these guys. Looks like they might be some merchants as well. Hello there! Looking for the best arrows in all the city? Do you have magical arrows? Not so much. I always thought magic was for those who couldn't make real arrows. Still, you'll find a lot of my arrows as good as, if not better, than the ones you get enchanted. Alright, let's see what you have. Oh, he's got magical arrows. Plus two stuff. Wow, these are really expensive. Yeah, we don't really need them now. Since we do have the endless duskwood arrows now. Alright, let's see. How are we on bolts, though? Yeah, we still have plenty of bolts, though, for carcerin. We should be fine. See if he's got anything else, just out of curiosity. Yes. Mm, no. Yes. Hmm. Let's yes. see. Who had that necklace I was looking yes. at earlier? Yes. Yes. This one. Yeah. Shoot. This guy's lowballing. All right. Let's talk to a guy named Vellum. This oddly dressed man frowns at your approach. Don't touch anything. If you damage the merchandise, you shall pay for it. What do you buy? I deal exclusively in documents and parchments. If you have any old books or scrolls, I'd like to take a look. Alright. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh. <laughs> Well, apparently he doesn't buy anything because he's offering us zero for books. Huh. Alright, let's see what this guy's got. He's got scrolls. And some books. Hmm. Yeah, he won't even buy my scrolls for me. That's kind of odd. That might be a little bit of a bug in his dialogue, too. Alright, anyways. What? Let's keep going. Who's this place? Granite and Kin, Smiths. Alright, I guess we can check them out too. Who's this? More commoners. And there's another beggar over there. Alright, nothing we can do over here. Alright, well, well, we're over here. Let's go check this Smith place out. And let's see, we're right over here. Can I help you? Alright, looks like these guys are actually right here, huh? Anson, Micah, and Lan. Alright, let's talk to Micah. The dwarven woman looks you up and down. She spits tobacco skillfully into a spittoon near the counter before speaking. I'm guessing you're not the type to be buying a new plow or a shovel. <laughs> the crew here looks very busy. Sorry about the mess. The boys are busy with an order. Do you buy things here? We pay market value for ore. If you have any you don't need. Alright, can I see your stock? Alright. Halden Masterwork Half Plate. What is this stuff? Plus one half plate. Halden Nobleman's Helm. Damage reduction one and concentration. Hmm. Held in legacy battle axe for over ten grand. Battle axe plus one extra slashing damage. Held in short blade. Hmm. Held in's hand and a half. <laughs> plus two bastard sword extra slashing damage. Hmm. Other than that, it's just plus one weapons, it looks like. 
Alright, let's talk to her again. I want to learn from you. Oh, we can get a skill from her. Alright, let's try that. Everyone wants to learn from us. Most don't want to pay us to keep the shop shut while they learn. They have a standard fee for this sort of thing. 6,000 gold. And we can train you in armor or weapons. Alright, skill focus in crafting armor and skill focus in crafting weapons. Hmm. I don't really need that. Alright, what else did she say? I have some things you might like to buy. We pay market value for ore. Oh, let's just look around. Well, this is a business, mister. My boys aren't here to put on a free show. So if you're not planning to be counting out the gold, I suggest you wander off to somewhere more welcoming. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to these guys. The blacksmith nods a greeting to you, but doesn't stop pounding the metal at the forge. His face, below the soot that stains his face and hands, is ruddy from the heat of the forge. I want to ask you a question. You will not find me a great font of knowledge. But if I know the answer to your question, I will answer it. I have a bit of experience on the forge myself. Ah, I thought you had that look about you. Would you have any work for someone like me? Not at this time, I'm afraid. We have plenty of orders, but not much coin to pay. My sons don't mind working for a roof over their heads, but I wouldn't take on a new smith that I couldn't pay. Do you know of any place where I might be able to fix up some of my equipment? There's a crafter's guild hall in the town. They rent out workspaces. Maybe be just that what you need. I'll mark it on your map. Alright, thanks. I'll look into it. Alright, let's talk to Anson. Can't talk. Working. If you want to do business here, talk to one of the others. Alright. Alright, what else is over this way? Ham's goods, huh. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here, huh? Alright, uh, let's see, before we continue further this way, I want to see what's over here. Yeah, there's a uh, crafter's guild and a arcane supply shop over there I want to take a look at. So let's go back this way. See if this beggar knows anything. No. All right, that's the castle over there, so we need to go down this way. All right, a lot of docks and stuff down here. Tanks, weapons. Let's check that Izzy's Adventure Store. Crafters Guild must be up that way, huh? Yep, Pro Makers Guild. Alright, let's check tanks, weapons, defend yourself. <laughs> let's go see what these guys are selling. Alright, and it's tank. Not seeing anybody else in here. Let's talk to this guy. The dwarf is gruff. This is tanks. I'm tank. I sell weapons. Let me see your selection then. Alright, he's got some plus two goodies in here. Composite longbow plus two for almost 15,000. Yep, just plus one and plus two weapons. Okay. Let's see what he charges for stuff. Ooh. He gives over 1,500 for items. Hmm, this might be a good place to sell things at. But let's continue searching the rest of these markets and see where we can get the best prices. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go check this uh, Izzy's Adventurer store next. All right, we got all kinds of map notes popping up now too. Is that the same ones? That might be. All right. Let's back here. 
All right, looks like that might go wrong to the backside, but let's go inside Izzy's. All right, and there's Izzy right there. Greetings. Would you like me to show you my wonderful world of magic assortments? <laughs> no thanks, you're a bit strange, by the way. Lose the mask. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, let's see what's going to happen if we say that. Oh, that just ends a conversation. Why else would I be here? Ooh, cloaks of fortification plus two. Those are good ones, too. Almost 37,000 for that thing, though. Mage protector for over 399,000. What does this thing do? A plus five shield bonus to armor class. A penalty to intelligence. <laughs> Uh, plus six is strength, and plus four mind affecting improved saves, huh? This is a tower shield. Damn. Super expensive for that thing. Alright, a couple scrolls and a couple potions. Amulet of natural armor for 7,900. Not a bad price for that. What is this guy offering? Oh, 1,260. Hmm. Bunch of rings and stuff too. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see how are we doing on what necklaces. Is? I could get one for Tan and get his armor class up a little bit more. Yes, yes. I'll take the lead. Fall in. You know what? That's a pretty good price. I think I'm gonna buy that thing. Let's get Tan's armor class up to 27. And let's not sell that yet. We might be able to find a place that pays higher. What else does he have? He's got some coins of life. Speaking of that, how are we set up here? We have some ra a raised dead scroll. That's Stay it. Stay close. Step, I don't think we have step. any more coins of life, though. Your command. Yes. But those scrolls work just fine. I'll take the lead. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there is anything out here on the dock. Maybe. Can't get on the ship. Alright, let's go back here behind this building and see where this goes. I'm guessing it goes right back up to that Maker's Guild, though. Let's just check to make sure there's nothing spectacular back here. Uh, let's go to yes. Tan. Oh, I guess we can't get up. Can we get up there? Nope. Alright, let's go this way, then. Oh! Stay close. He's all up inside the building. All right, let's go check this Maker's Guild out. Uh, let's see, is there anything back here? Nope. And anything back here? All right, let's go into the Maker's Guild. Yep, definitely a crafting place. A slightly metallic smelling smoke hangs in the air, the result of crafting. All right, I don't see anybody in here otherwise. Uh, mortar and pestle. I'll take the lead. We got a couple of those already, don't we? I know we got a mortar and pestle. We got a smith hammer too. Yeah, I don't think we need to carry any more of those things. Let's just leave that there. Yeah, another smith hammer. Alright, we'll leave that stuff alone. We'll come back here later on to craft something, I guess. Let's get out of here. Alright, what else is out here on the docks? I can actually see something in the daylight now. Uh, let's go down here. Is there anything... Possibly on this dock. Let's take a look at the map. There's a big dock over here too, it looks like. Oh, there's nothing here. And it looks like we have a locked up warehouse. Let's go to Annandale. Let's see if we can't get inside that thing. This 
success. Let's rob the joint. Hmm. All right, let's see what's in the crates. Lifting the lid on the crates, you see farm implements. All right, let's keep going. It's dark. There doesn't seem to be anyone here at the moment. And Alira just said something. Get to it. I have no desire to spend any more time than necessary here. <laughs> All right, here's another stack of crates. And Carcerin just said something. This warehouse would make a good smuggler's hideout. All right, these crates are pungent with the smell of garlic. What is a stock controller's office? Hmm. All right, we got a locked chest up here. Let's go pill for that thing. Ooh, and it's trapped. Success. One experience point. Success. All right, a couple gems, 133 gold. We'll grab it. Your command. All right, let's see. Let's go back to Annandale. So. All right, here's another stack of crates. Let's go check them. Lifting the lid on the crates, you can see farm implements. Looked at that stuff already. All right, doesn't look like there's anything else we can get into in here. Let's go. All right, anything else over here? Okay, looks like that goes right back up. Over to here, I guess. Over to the blacksmiths. All right, let's check this other dock first. Make sure there's nothing of importance down here. Oh, look at that fancy ship way out there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else out here. Yeah. Let's check this dock over here. And it looks like we can't get there either. Alright, let's go back over this way then. I guess we'll go right up this trail here. Continue searching through this place. This is a well done place too. It's really good. Alright, let's see where this goes. We've got a locked door up here. Oh, look at this. Can't get in there. Let's go see if we can unlock this door. Another place to rob. Not possible. DC 99. All right. I guess we're not getting in there. Can we possibly bash it. Nope. All right. Let's get back over here in the town now. Uh, let's see, that is the Haldens. And where is this place? The Dreaming Chimera, alright. Let's go give it a look-see. Hmm. Idatus, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Dreaming Chimera. We recently finished our run of The Man with the Golden Sword. Our upcoming production of The Cormiran Who Loved Me is not scheduled for a fortnight, but you're welcome to look around. Okay, this must be the theater, huh? Alright, what is this thing? A notice. If a play is in progress, our patrons and the actors will appreciate quiet upon entrance. Hmm. Alright, we got some balconies here. 
And Alira just said something. The playhouse where humans laugh at themselves. <laughs> That's a cool looking area. Oh, we can get back here too. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, let's see. Before we go back there, is there anything else up here in the front? Nope. Alright. Let's go check out the back of the theater. Oh, look at all these props and stuff. That looks cool. Alright, we have a stairway going up here. And a stairway going down here. Hmm. Possible black textures again. I'll have to take a look at that in the tool set. This one... No, this one's got textures on it. But these over here, possibly... Unless they kind of look funny because they're, they're scaled flat like that. Anyways, let's continue on. Alright, we got a stairway going up there, but let's check this side over here. Another stairway up there. And another stairway down. That door's locked. Let's go up. jump to. We're over here now. The director's office and it's locked. Yeah, we're definitely up above. Let's see if we can't get into this. Success. One experience point. Oh, there's somebody in here. Iristiana. The woman looks at you startled. You have obviously interrupted something. <laughs> How did you get in here? The chimera is closed. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is the Duke's daughter, isn't it? We got an intelligence option here. I seem to have caught you in flagrant delicto. Iristiana, the Duke's daughter? And here with this actor? Well, well, well. I don't think your father would approve. <laughs> hmm... Let's do this intelligence option one. Get out of here! Huh. Uh, let's try this one. You're, yeah, you're the Duke's daughter, huh? You wouldn't! I've killed because it amused me. You are not in a position to do much of anything if I choose. Huh. But I would, and your father would certainly put an end to this little tryst. Let's try that one. But you haven't yet. What is it you want? I want access to the castle. Ooh. A bauble of some sort for my silence would do nicely. <laughs> I just want to taunt you so you have to live knowing that someone knows your secret. <laughs> yeah, let's try this one. I want access to the castle. I can give you access to the basement, but then you'd be on your own. But it won't do you any good for anything. The soldiers will still capture you if you're lucky enough they don't kill you. I'll take my chances. It's your death or imprisonment. Fine. The guard named Cotton is often on duty near the castle entrance. I will inform him of your stupid idea, and he will get you into the castle basement. From there, you'll be on your own. Hmm. Got our first quest here in prose. And Tim. What did he say? <laughs> did you see me in From Cormier with Love? I was brilliant. My best work. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The journal entry. You found the Duke's daughter, Aristiana, entwined in the arms of an actor in a playhouse. Blackmailing her with this knowledge, she has arranged for you to be granted access to the castle basement. From there, you'll be on your own. Talk to a guard named Cotton near the castle entrance. Yeah, we talked to him already, so we know where he's at. Right, this must be where they raise and lower all the uh, all the props for the plays. Uh. All right, and stage manager's office. This one is also locked as well. 
Who's in here doing fellatio? Hmm. Hmm. We have this little secret room here, it appears. Treasure. Huh. How do we get access to that? Hmm, I don't know if this might be a bug or something, too. Alright, come on. Hmm, yeah, I can't actually get to it. I'm thinking this is actually a bug tile. Hmm. Well, that's another thing I can look at in a tool set. Yeah, we might have to come back here later. Alright, in the meantime, let's check the basement out. Oh, what the hell? Okay, this door's locked. Oh, it doesn't jump the whole party here either. Huh. Hmm. Okay. What? Well, yes. Let's send everybody down then. Yes. Yes. I should probably I'll fix that because that's kind of annoying. All right, let's go Stay back to close Hendo. and step where I step. All right, let's go check the basement next. This door's locked. Oh, <laughs> I guess not. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's see what's down here. Looks like just a short hallway. Oh, here's some elevators for the stage. Okay, gotcha. All right, nothing else down here. Hmm. It won't actually let us go upstairs here. Hmm, that is a bug door. Alright, let's go back to this side. Hopefully we can get out from this end. Yep. One at a time, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm probably going to go in a tool set and see if I can sort that out, too. Because that is extremely annoying. Jumping one at a time like that. Yes. I'll take the lead. All right, let's Perhaps go back so. to Annandale. Uh, let's see. I guess we're finished in here. Uh, let's come over to this side real quick. Was this end locked or? Yeah, that one's also locked. Just for the hell of it, I want to see if I can pick it. Or if it's yeah, this one's a pickable. Hmm. That's kind of odd. I wonder why he set it up like that. All right, success. All right, we can go down there. Let's make sure it goes down to the same spot. Yep, all right. Now this door is open. Can we get up here now? Nope. No transition. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to go into tool set real quick and look at all these issues that we just found. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, all done messing around in the tool set. Yeah, I looked at some of these uh, placeables that are kind of showing up black. But, yeah, actually these are okay. It's just the way the lighting's reflecting off of them as far as the shadows and stuff go. Yeah, but, yeah, those are okay. Um, the next thing I looked at was all these doors that were acting wonky. Yeah, these placeables too. It's just, yeah, you can still see the texture on them depending on the angle you're looking at it. But, yeah, they do look like pure black. It's just, I don't know. They look kind of weird. All right, I fixed all these doors, too. I found out what was causing this problem here. There was, like, multiple doors on the same hinge. And some of them had uh, party transition true, and some of them had party transition false. So it was they were, like, conflicting with each other. But they should be fine now. Let's check it out and see if it's going to work. Yeah, this one appears to be working. Uh, let's see. Can we go back up it? Yep. All right, let's go back down and let's check the door across the way here. Yeah, these fixes I could not fix by script, so I had to actually edit the area and 
temporarily put them into my uh, override folder. Oh, this one was a locked door. Hmm. I think I need to fix that one, too. All right, well, at least the doors work. Uh, let's go up here. I think these were acting a little wonky, too. Let's check them just to make sure. And, yeah, we need to go upstairs anyways. And let's go back down. Let's go down. Yeah, all right, back up. All right, yeah, this room over here, this is where that uh, secret room was. Yeah, I got to pick the lock again. Because I put this area in my override. All right. Now, as you can see, remember before, like, the room was, like, cut in half right here. You can only see, like, half the room. And you could walk, the, walk through here, and there was a pile of treasure here. And this treasure was actually bad, too. It was only set to zero hit points. So now it's got hit points, so you can actually use it. Whereas before, if you click on this, it wouldn't do anything. So it should give us some money now. Let's click on it. Yep, we just picked up 277 gold pieces from that. So that is fixed. All right, now let's go over to this door. I think these doors were kind of screwy, too. Let's go through them. And let's go back up. Yep, we're working fine now. Remember how it was uh, just uh, transitioning one party member at a time? Now it trans transitions the entire party, so... That is good to go. Alright, I think we're finished in here. So we got a quest out of this place where we can go back into the castle by talking to a guard named Cotton. So we can probably deal with that later on. Let's get out of here. Alright, uh, it doesn't appear we can do anything else out here. Let's look at the map. Yeah, let's go up this way. Uh, let's see, there's a cathedral up here. Oh, that might be through that other archway that's over here. You know what? Let's go check that out. And then we'll work our way further to the west. Yeah, we haven't checked out anything down that street. So let's go back this way to that archway. I'm guessing that'll take us right to the church. And right through here. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Before we go in there, let's look back here. There's something back here that might be interesting. Graveyard back here. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Stray dogs. Huh. All right, took them out fast enough. There's something back here. Nope. All right. Well, let's go into the church and check it out. There's nothing else back here. Right, let's take a look at the map. Graveyard. Hmm. Maybe we have to come back to that later for something. In the meantime, let's check out the old cathedral. The church. There's an acolyte here. A prayer altar. Let's check this thing out. This holy altar is available for your prayers and offerings. Hmm. Pray at the altar. Offer five gold pieces. Let's see what's going to happen. What do you pray for? Oh. Healing, huh? Let's go with a blessing. We don't need healing at the moment. Alright, did that actually bless us or not? Spell resistance. Hmm. I got to take a look at that one in the tool set, too. Uh, let's talk to this acolyte. Uh, let's see, the church walls are built of a blue-green stone, and its architecture doesn't match the rest of Pros. Judging by the roughness of the walls, this church has been here for centuries. Alright, and the acolyte, the young priest presses his palms together in a gesture of greeting. I greet you, pilgrim. Uh, return the gesture of greeting. I hope you feel welcome at this holy place. Alright, what is this place? 
the Cathedral of the Holy Chalice. What does that mean? He scratches his chin nervously. I'm just a monk. I sell the holy relics. Maybe one of the other monks could explain things better. <laughs> uh, I'm in need of healing. Yeah, if I had a copper coin for everyone who ever said that... He scratches his chin. I have some holy relics here that might do the trick. <laughs> All right, let's see what you have. A paladin helm... Uh, the Uthgart Holy Shield. Heavy shield plus two. Penalty to charisma, although an increase to strength and an increase to taunt. Hmm, that's a pretty good shield. Pretty expensive, though. I think we actually have what better do shields, want? don't we? Yeah, we have the mirror shield. Let's see, what was that one again? Yeah, spell resistance. Hmm. What? All right, let's see what else he's got. Ooh, cure criticals. I'm getting that. Ooh, he's got multiple of them. Ooh, we should probably stock up on those so we can get rid of these damn cure serious ones. Potions of heal for 868. He's got raised dead scrolls, too. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't stock up on a couple of them. Hmm. And some holy water. All right, let's come back to him later. Let's see what else is going on in here. All right, there's a door over here. Where does this go to? All right. And a bookcase. The library has books on many subjects. If you're willing to spend the time, you may be able to find a book which would make you a better member of your chosen class. Hmm. Look for books on being a rogue. You have found a relevant book. Okay, read it. You have already learned more through life experience than you can learn in the books available here. Hmm. All right, we can't do that again, huh? Nope. Oh, I suppose that might have given us experience points if we were lower level. Hmm. All right, let's see what's through here. Just a sleeping area. Hmm. Yeah, we can't use that again. All right, let's go back down. All right, there's a priest down here, too. Let's go see if we can talk to him. Oh, we can't get down there. There appears to be a walk mesh issue here. Yeah, we can't talk. Oh, I guess we can talk to him from here. <laughs> the young priest presses his palms together in a gesture of greeting. Oh, is this guy doing the same thing as this one over here? Uh, let's see here. What is this place? Yep, he's saying the same thing. Hmm, I'm just a monk. I sell the holy relics. <laughs> Religion makes me feel weird. I think I better leave. <laughs> okay. Alright, show me what you have. Yeah, I'm assuming he's using the same store as this guy. Yep. Hmm, I wonder if that wasn't a bug. He might have to have a different dialogue or something on him. It seems kind of weird that they both had the same dialogue. Alright, well, there's a couple things I want to look at in here. Like this altar. I want to see if that actually given us bless or what here I don't think it gave us anything yes just for the hell of it let's come up here with a lira yeah, let's see pray at the altar five gold and let's go for blessing again let's see if yeah I don't actually think that's given us any kind of blessing at all all right but anyways we're running up on time I'm gonna look at this place off camera as well in a tool set and then uh, we'll continue on in the next episode we'll see you then ladies and gentlemen